Hi guys, welcome to my channel and thank you for stopping by. It's been a while since my last video and that's because I have been very, very busy. Uh, I have to apologize uh, being this late with my new video, but um, things happen sometimes, you know. Um, as you uh, probably all know, um, we had planned a model show here in my hometown on the October 1st, 1st of October. And um, we were four people organizing this model show. And um, due to personal reasons, one by one, the other three had to step back. And uh, suddenly I was all alone and I never tried to organize a model show before. And um, and that was with, with vendors coming from, from Sweden. And, and you know, it's, it was a big deal. Um, and um, by the end, I had to cancel because uh, it was too big for me to organize by myself. So um, I simply haven't had time to make a new video until now. Uh, now I can relax. Now the, the show is, is canceled, unfortunately. But at least I can relax and um, and start a more normal life again, you might say. Um, I'm not sure, but I think that uh, there's a chance that we might try and organize a new show next year, but we'll see. There's still plenty of time. We'll see sometimes next year if if, if that will be, be done. But um, anyways, uh, a lot of plans have changed. Uh, I was working on a couple of models that uh, I wanted to bring to that show and um, and that was also uh, giving me some difficulties because um, uh, I use this brand of spray paint, Motip. This is my favorite. And um, unfortunately, like th th things are right now, um, I need a couple of colors uh, and and um, and uh, I, I I don't have uh, money uh, right now to buy that, so so uh, I I wouldn't be able to to finish those models, um, and I had to uh, to uh, stop that, skip them because now the show is cancelled. So I can I can go on to other things. Um, I want to show you one of the things though that um, that. Uh, I was working on, um, just a second. This is my monogram 1 to 16 scale Peterbilt. And this is one of the models that I, I hope to finish until, uh, in time for the for the model show, October 1st. Um, and I also had the trailer. And I actually extended the trailer. You can see the part there where where the frame is painted green, this part here. That is the extension. The original trailer is this piece here. But uh, I measured up, did some measurements, and uh, found out that um, uh, after what I could see on the internet, the most normal uh, size for flatbed trailers in America is 53 feet. And uh, the monogram is not a 53 feet. So I was able to get hold on a on parts from an old trailer and um, and extend uh, the original one, so so now it's 53 feet, um, and also I don't know if you can see, but the frame underneath is also put together uh, from the old trailer and the new one. So, um, but that's one of the models that um, that I wanted to uh, to bring to the show, but now it's on hold until further notice. But let me show you another kit that I got from a trade. Um, I'm actually very happy for that. Uh, just a second. Well, let me show you a, an exciting kit here. And uh, no, it's not this Aoshima Celsius. That's just the box I got it in. It's a completely different kit. And actually one that I like a lot better. So, uh, just a second, I open here. I traded the Bass Busters set, but only the boat, not the El Camino, but the boat and the boat trailer. And um, that is a kit that I like very much. 
here you can see the, the boat. I'm looking very much forward to building this one and I have the perfect car for towing the trailer, I think. Not so many parts in the boat. The engine there. Seats, steering wheel. Wheels for the trailer. Axles. Wheel bags. And then the actually base of the trailer itself. That's actually the, the styrene part. And then there's a little chrome sheet here with some railings and small knickknacks. I don't know exactly what it is, but I will find out. Of course, there are four tires for the, for the trailer. And uh, here are the decals for the trailer. Excuse me, for the boat, of course. <laughs> Mercury XR4 engine, 150 horsepower, black max, it says. There's some different striping. So, um, I'm looking forward for, for to build this one at some point. And I have, as I mentioned, I have the, the perfect car to tow the trailer, I think. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. So, um, let me get this one off the desk and I can show you something else. Just a second. I've seen a lot on the internet that people are a little bit confused about the 1960 Chevy sedan delivery from Monogram. It's been uh, reissued uh, several times as different models and um, it looks like people don't really know uh, which model came first, what is the differences and, and like that. So um, I would like to show you, um, just to uh, elaborate, this one is the Street Fighter version of the kit. This, as you can see, is of course the Quicksilver, and this one is the Bad Actor, the one that's white on the box. I just painted it some, some uh, red, pink, red flake paint uh, it didn't get clear coat yet so <laughs> but anyway that's another st another story but let me um let me tell you how <clears throat> how it was the the history of this one um the kit came out the first time in 1970 as the street fighter kit um and it was uh, released between 1970 and 73 uh, also with a couple of new boxes, uh, although I cannot really see what what's the difference on the boxes. Um, but uh, anyway, 1970, the Street Fighter came out. That was the first time we saw this kit. Then in 1973, it was made into the Quicksilver. And uh, in 1975, the Quicksilver was reissued with a new box art. And then we come to 1980, and then it was the bad actor who was released. Um, and it was released again in 19, uh, let me just say, see what I wrote here in my notes. It was, it was released again in 1993 with the new box art. And then in 2009, they reissued it again as the bad actor. So we are back at the beginning, you, you might say, and, and there was new decals in that kit. And they, again in 2014, it was released as the bad actor with a new box. And that is the release story of this kit. And then a lot of people also don't know what is the difference between these kits. Well, the first one who came out, the bad actor, you can, you can see, oh, sorry, sorry, the, uh, the Street Fighter, you can see that um, it has the large sunroof in the body, and uh, that is the same with the Quicksilver. Um, so, um, 
so that was that was basically the same the same body. Um, the Quicksilver have this kind of scoop. Uh, in Denmark, we call it a Mopar scoop. Uh, I don't have any other better name for it, so I will just call it like that. Uh, and um, where the um, the Street Fighter had this, is it a cowl induction scoop or something like that? I guess. Um, the Street Fighter have almost the same grill as the Quicksilver, but it don't have two single headlights. It have one big oval headlights. The wheels are actually the same as the Quicksilver wheels also. But when the Quicksilver were made into the bad actor, things changed again. It got a stock looking roof with only a small sun sunroof. Excuse me, I have to keep it in the camera. You can see uh, with these stripes here, it's, it looks like a stock roof, I guess. And with a small sun visor, sun, sun roof. And uh, it has uh, the same kind of um, cowl induction scoop, but with two small scoops there also. Um, the grill for the bad actor was changed. Instead of double headlight, it have only one big headlight on each side. Uh, another thing that I forgot to mention was actually the um, the bumpers. You can see the bumpers here on the Quicksilver. It have two very big front bumpers. Let me see if I can get some better light. And two small chin front spoilers. The bad actor have a couple of small bumpers and one white um, front spoiler. And if we take the... Um, I can show you the picture here on the box for the bad actor. It actually have two chin spoilers also, but they are further into the middle and it have no bumpers in the front. So that's also a little diff difference between the kits. Um, the wheels on the bad actor are not the same as they are on the two other kits. As you can see here, these are the bad actor wheels. Where the um, Quicksilver and the and the Street Fighter have these wheels, so there's a, a, a some similar parts and there are some different parts and and I have to um, I have to admit um, that my Street Fighter kit is the one from. Uh, from 2009. I don't have an original Street Fighter kit, but as far as I know, it is the same parts as in, in this one. Um, another funny thing I forgot to, to, to mention is that the Street Fighter kit actually have a couple of big slicks for the rear and um, some small front front tires um, where the... Um, Quicksilver and the bad actor have the good old monogram, big and little hot rod tires. So um, there you have it, guys. That is the, the the difference between the the Street Fighter, the Quicksilver, and the bad actor. Um, anyway, it's a very nice kit. I think I really like this kit um, in all three versions and. Um, but I have to say that my favorite uh, is the Quicksilver. And um, I was very happy that some years ago I found a mint in box kit. Um, I really love this one. It was one of my favorite kits when I was a, a child. And um, finally I can build it a little nicer than, than I did back then. Of course I did my best. But you know how it is when we build our models back at that time. So 
So I'm very happy that I found this kit. And um, I got to finish the two others at some point. So I have the trio ready. So uh, there you have it, guys. I just wanted to uh, to show you the differences between the kits and, and, and share the the issue story, if you can call it that, for, for this kit from, from Monogram. So um, so thank you for watching, guys. Um, again, I will ask you if you um, would please go to my Spring Store. The link is beneath this video. Take a look. Go to our Facebook group, Keeps Cotton Garage Members Group, and join up there if you didn't do it already. It's a very nice group with good people. And um, if you have a shop card or anything you want to send, um, my address is beneath this video also. So um, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments what do you think about this monogram kit and which of the three versions are your favorite. Okay, guys. See you later. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.